you are on to Viva's Canadian Journey. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are in Sydney, Nova Scotia. That's right. Not Halifax, not Dartmouth, but Sydney. We made the four and a half hour drive to this beautiful city and something different for, for you today, guys. Today we're going to be doing a tour of the Cape Breton University. Quite a number of you have asked me to show you what this university looks like to do a tour. So here it is. Let's get started. Okay, so let the tour begin. So when we got into one of the halls, the first things we saw were different flags. And these flags, as you can see, you know, um, represent the countries where past and present CBU students are from. So um, it was nice to see the flag from Nigeria. And where I was there with my five-year-old daughter, so she, she kept on asking, where's this flag from you? But for me, it just shows that CBU is a metropolitan university. The hall had a lot of artwork um, from past and present students, activities. Um, it's one of those halls where when you come in, you're definitely going to want to visit. Um, the university is massive loads of history um so history nova scotian history history of you know indigenous people obviously history um of the university so very very um for me i found that very very important i like as a student of history i like history i like learning where things came from how things came to be and just i like working with you know dates past present dates so for me that was um extremely exciting um obviously you can see that it's quiet because this video was done in um july school is on vacation student staff everybody is back home um, so it was very quiet so you might not exact you might not get an exact feel of the university on a you know normal day when everybody is around everybody's on campus so don't let that um don't let that make you think oh this nothing is happening here this was during the holiday session so um we didn't expect to see anybody we had an amazing tour guide her name is shivani she recently graduated from CBU, so she was doing the tour. Um, she was so knowledgeable of the university. I was like, wow, <laughs> it was um, it was simply amazing. earlier this video was shot um, during the holiday season and although there were no students the CBU sports auditorium was open and had um, a few people you know playing basketball in case you haven't noticed the CBU colors are um, there's a bit of orange and some green I'm not sure the exact shade of green but just in case you see a lot of orange and a lot of green um, yes, these are some of the CBU colors. Um, the CBU sports team or the athletic team is called Capers, so Cape Breton Capers, just 
in case you ever come across this online uh, or you are asked a trivia question. The athletic team is called CBU Kings. There was also a room that in my head, I called it the unwinding room. Um, so like I said, it's in my head. Because <laughs> if I was in university, I would go to that room to unwind. There was some pool table. You could play, you know, those um, computer games where, you know, in like the box and the mini screen. And after like a long day of class or you just want to relax, you just go to that room. That is what I would do there. follow me on um, Instagram you know that I really love going to the library it's one of my happy places where I just go sit down get a book and just um, get lost <laughs> in the book so this is um, this is the, C uh, the CBU library you get in it's two floors so um, the ground floor and there's a set of staircase and then you get to um, to the second floor this library is available and accessible to all um, to all students. So it's I try to remember my time at university where um, I'm not gonna lie that I did a lot of studying, but <laughs> I used to come to the library, you know, to borrow like um, books, textbooks. That would save that used to save me a lot of money because sometimes you might need to buy the textbooks, but if I was Trying to be cheap or trying to save cost, you'd rather just come to the library and just get the book. Um, these are 3D printing devices. I must say, technology has really, really changed because back when I was in university, there was nothing like 3D um, printing device. So, um, honestly, to be born in the technology age, that's amazing. All these um, computers desktops are also you know, available to students they're available for free and you can come in do your coursework browse on the internet the library was again very quiet no students around but I guess that's what um, libraries are meant to be quiet so um, yes loads of sections as well so you could either stay do your work or, or you know individually or you could be you know, in group there were tables of threes and you know three or four chairs. So that tells me you could come here and do some group work as long as you know you're not too noisy. There were um, printing machines as well. So if you need to like print out a coursework or an outline, you can do that. Um, yeah. So all of these are um, are available. You can see numerous desktops and tables. A very good study study area study place 
if you find that your dorm might be a bit too noisy. Sometimes for me, when I used to go to the library as a student, it was because my um, my dormitory was quite noisy, and this was the the library was the only place where I could get like some real, real peace and quiet. guide our lovely tour guide Shivani um, did a really good job just taking us around and explaining how things are done she showed us her favorite spots in the library obviously from her time um, as a student if you could see that round cubicle yeah so just this one here yeah so this was one of her used to be one of her favorite spots and she says they're really this is like hot cake her students come in and just want to grab um, one of these and you know just sit in there The Student Culture and Heritage Center, and I'm here with Shivani, who just graduated after a four-year bachelor course in uh, Cape Breton. And I'm gonna ask her her favorite experience in CBU. Your favorite experience? Um, my favorite Cape Breton uh, CBU experience so far has to be our um, Diwali celebration that uh, was held in uh, 2018. Um, it was uh, huge. It was uh, it was uh, hosted in the Canada Games Complex, um, and it, the decorations, the dancing, the food. It was just amazing. It literally actually made me feel like I am home, nice. and I'm celebrating at home. Um, whether like the little touch that they gave, like it was beautiful. It was just like those little things that were like, oh, like you know, they care about us, and it's just not just to say it. It just like all our professors were there our professors, our staff, it wasn't just like they threw something for the students, it was just like everyone wanted to experience that. Um, I was with my homestay mom, she came with me, her nephews came with me, nice. um, she wore an Indian dress with me, it was beautiful, oh, I nice. enjoyed it so much, it was I think one of the best fun nights I've had here. Academically, like I've had, I've taken two courses so far, like my entrepreneurship with Dr. Jasmine Allen was one of the best courses I've ever taken. Okay. She is um, she's literally there for you on and off. Like okay. she, you, you know, she's not just a professor. Like she shows you with like her actions that she truly cares about your well-being. What are you gonna miss the most about CBU? Oh my God! I hope I never leave. Okay. <laughs> but, um, but if I do, I think I'll obviously like everyone on campus. Um, as much as I love our like physically love our campus, I think it's just the people in it that make it so much more beautiful. It's just, it's like every day you walk in, everyone greets you with a smile. It's always a nice, hi, how are you? Um, like in, in, the, in even the canteen, like uh -huh. you're sitting on the desk and stuff. You, you, even if you're alone, like you, you can go up and talk to anyone and people will come talk to you. Like, um, but yeah, I, I think I would definitely miss the community that they have here at CBU. That would, that I would miss the people too much. Right. I wouldn't go anywhere else. <laughs> Hey guys, now we're just gonna have a quick tour of the exterior of the campus. So this is the Canada Games Complex. It's also on the same, um, you know, in the same vicinity as the library, as the sports auditorium, same vicinity as the classrooms. As you can see, um, it's quite a big one. The student accommodation also situated on campus. 
Parking on campus, if you have a car and you want to park on the CBU campus, it's one Canadian dollar per day. Um, I wish I would get one dollar parking in Halifax. That would just be, <laughs> that would be super duper amazing. Um, when I heard that, I almost screamed one dollar. Oh my goodness. So that's it for this tour of CBU. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not following me yet on Instagram, please don't forget to do that. It's at Eva's Canadian Journey. And give this video a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time. Hi, my name is Habiba. I'm